Hello there, guys. Welcome back to another short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Photoshop, and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. What I'd like to do today, guys, is show you how to create the face stretch effect within Photoshop. I have an example in front of you here for you. And as you can see, a real cool, modern type of design that you may implement into your graphic design life. And what I'd like to do today is show you the step-by-step -step process, the tools you need to use to create such a design. Okay, so... What I have is the original image open up on another, on another tab um, so we can start to create our design. The first thing I'm going to do is let's add a brand new layer like so. And now that blend there was used by the smudge tool. Okay. So what I'm going to do is come up to my smudge tool here and I'm going to dictate the type of smudge that I want already. Okay. So I'm going to come to my smudge tool. Let's say for instance, I want to use the hard round option. I'm going to manipulate the size a little bit here, let's say like so. Make sure the strength is at 100% and make sure we have sample all layers ticked also. Okay, now I need to create that tube-like shape. I'm going to do that by using the curvature pen tool and make sure I have my new layer highlighted. And I'm going to come through here and start to click and place anchor points like so to create my smooth line. Perfect. Now with the pen tool, what I'm going to do is right click on our path and you can see we have the stroke path option here. What I'm gonna do, as you can see, you've got your drop down option here and you've got all of these different types that you can add from, either, from tools within our toolbar. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use our smudge tool like so. And if I was to press okay, You'll notice slowly but surely the smudge effect will be created. And then what you can do now is delete the path. As simple as that, guys. Now, if you notice in my original uh, design, we had the lady interacting with the tube. He wasn't just sitting on top, okay? So what I'd like to do is show you that process there. So we've got the background image. Let's unlock it by clicking the um, padlock. And I'm going to convert this into a smart object by simply right-clicking on the layer and you're converting it into a smart object. What I need to do is make a selection uh, around our dancer friend here. So let me just turn off our top layer. Fantastic. And we're going to use our object selection tool. And we're going to say select subject at the top of the screen there. Wonderful. Then what I'm going to do is come back onto our tube layer like so, and I'm going to apply a layer mask to this. Now, I would need to invert this layer mask. So with the layer mask highlighted, the shortcut is either Command-I on the Mac or Control-I on Windows, like so. And now what I want to do is bring back some of the tube, okay? So I'm going to get my brush tool. Let's make sure... We've got a good size brush there, fantastic, wonderful. And we're gonna make sure we use the color white soon as we want to bring back the tube. And what I'm gonna do now is just come back through, and include some of the tube. Like so, using the color white. And there you go, guys. That is how you create the free, the face stretch effect within Photoshop. If you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics, don't hesitate, guys. Take a visit our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Um, some really cool information about us uh, as tutors, our college, our school, our courses. Um, take a look. And also as well, what we do on our website is we have tutorials coming out on a weekly basis, um, showcasing some really cool ideas just to give you an idea of what kind of stuff we cover in our courses thank you very much guys take care and i'll see you next time